The Center for Research Excellence on Dynamically Deformed Solids, or CREDS, is a research center funded by the National Nuclear Security Administration. The National Nuclear Security Administration is a part of the Department of Energy responsible for maintaining the nuclear deterrent of the United States. Since the signing of the Comprehensive Test Ban Treaty, the United States has certified that its nuclear deterrent will work without any nuclear testing, only using basic research. As we, the U.S., started to remove our ability to do underground nuclear explosive testing, we had to figure out a different way to ensure these weapons maintain their reliability. When a nuclear weapon goes off, all the parts of it deform at extremely high rates. To certify a nuclear weapon without testing it, you have to be able to predict precisely how that deformation is going to occur. That's where CREDS comes in. CREDS provides a unique academic experience for students to gain the skills that they need for stockpile stewardship. CREDS is led by Texas A&M University with three collaborating institutions, University of California Santa Barbara, University of Michigan, and University of Connecticut. CREDS is mostly oriented to fundamental understanding on how the materials are behaving in high pressures, high temperatures, or like laser piston shock related applications. When materials are highly strained or, or strained at very high strain rates, uh, their properties can change dramatically. And a lot of what our research here has to do with is understanding how those properties can change. Those activities include making new materials, testing new materials, and then also simulating or trying to compute what the properties of materials will be uh, using advanced simulation and computational tools. So the high strain rate nano indenter is a unique tool that we have developed uh, in this program. Our high strain rate nano indentation system you know, works like any other nano indentation system where it takes a small diamond tip and we use that to deform samples. However, what's kind of an innovation in our system, we've actually used the laser to measure the displacements and that allows us to do the tests a lot faster than a traditional system would do it and as a result we can get to much higher strain rates. A big thing about nano is you're able to probe small volumes of material very quickly. So as a normal large-scale test at high strain rate, you may only be able to do one or two tests over the course of say an hour. We're able to do hundreds of tests on the order of an hour or two. It's really given me an opportunity to kind of experience some new um, sample preparation and sample you know, imaging techniques whether that be ion milling to taking images with laser confocal microscopy, AFM or SEM to get really good images of these really small indents that we are doing. And we're just looking to see you know, how can we push the testing that we get to do and how can we help them push and make better materials. So here I'm able to take part in research on multi-phase metal composites. In my case, it's copper tantalum composites produced by uh, sintering followed by equal channel angular extrusion is a severe plastic deformation process. By rotating the samples between extrusions, you can produce different microstructures. As part of the uh, multi-phase metal composites project, we'd like to uh, be able to investigate the effects of microstructure on the dynamic mechanical property of the material. As part of that, we actually need a way to control the microstructure, generate different ones for the high strain rate testing, such as a split Hopkinson bar. Through CREDS, we have been able to purchase both a split Hopkins and pressure bar system and a high-speed camera to gain insights into dynamic loading events. By having this equipment at UCSB and being the primary system user, I get to independently run experiments and collect and analyze data for both my own research and for collaborators. The CREDS Center provides a really unique experience for students to gain a fundamental understanding of the aspects of our science research that they need to to be successful in their future career but while they're doing this we're working on problems in collaboration with scientists at the NNSA labs. Our main NNSA partners are Los Alamos National Lab, Lawrence Livermore and Sandia. In the internships I have been very lucky to have done already three internships through my PhD 
uh, two at Livermore National Labs and one at Los Alamos National Labs. Working at Los Alamos National Lab was a great experience for me to use specialized equipment rarely found at universities and collaborate with experts in the field. I think that creds actually helped me in understanding what working in national labs is actually like and what people in national labs are like. I have developed and learned so much in only a couple of short years because I have the privilege to work with some of the greatest scientists in the U.S. Uh, the experience I had are amazing and I love it. It's a really fun experience uh, to network in this big collaborative effort um, and you'll definitely learn a lot. I know I have. And you'll walk away a better scientist and better researcher and ready to uh, take your skills to whatever's next in your career.